if somebody wants to understand the code that's hidden in plain view, they very few people are really going to put the time in. I realize that it's going to take ten years, really. Some people might be able to do it less, but it's going to take you ten years. And here's where you start right here. And you might say, why would you start here? Because all modern day languages unfold or unfurl from the Phoenician script. The first question, you have to ask questions. And if you're sincere, God will give you the answer. So who controls the languages? God, you see that in Genesis chapter 10 or so. He let us go down and split up the languages. And so you know language or words or alphabets are from God. That's why there's a TV show called ALF, Alphabet. ALF was an ET, extraterrestrial. Bet is house. Jesus is the word, so words are powerful. Words are the holographic script. Words are everything is a word, to be honest with you. Body language is a word, shapes are words, colors are words, phonics are words. Everything is a word because everything is a derivative from the logos word. You can actually see it says parent system is Egyptian aeroglyphs. And notice the word aeroglyph or hieroglyph or however you want to say air. It goes back to air's glyph. The truth is encoded everywhere, even in that first sentence. The Phoenician Alpha Bet is also called the earlier linear script because it is an early development of the pictographic proto or old Canaanite script into a linear alphabetic script also making the transfer from a multi-directional writing system where a variety of writing directions occurred to a regulated horizontal right to left script its immediate predecessor the proto Canaanite old Canaanite or early west Semitic alphabet used in the final stages of the late Bronze Age first in Canaan and then Sarahitite kingdoms is the oldest fully matured alphabet thought to be derived from the Egyptian hieroglyphs. Now notice the symbols, right? It's from a it moved from a um, Because it moved, okay, early linear script because it is early development of the pictographic proto. So notice the word, it's a derivative of the pictographic proto. So pictogram, also called a pictogram, and I've never looked this up before, but I thought it was interesting. Pictograph, or something, picto, and in computer language, the icon, idea, ideogram, <clears throat> that conveys its meaning through its pictorial resemblance to a physical object. Pictographs are often used in writing and graphic systems in which the characters are to a considerable extent pictorial in appearance. A pictogram may also be used in subjects such as leisure, tourism, and geography. So the sign here, S-I-G-N, is the sign of the cross, right? So the signs are everywhere. It's a stop sign. U.S. sign warning that a stop time is ahead. So it's a warning sign showing a stop sign is ahead. A stop 
sign is a head, a head. It's right in front of us. It's, we're speaking it all the time. It's so funny. It's been here our whole life. It's right here. I mean, there's two, there's two languages right here in front of you. Maybe more. There's, as you're reading this language, there's another language right there in front of you. It's a spiritual language. It's a codex. There's two languages right in front of you. A is the blood. Picto or pick or pi to pick to gram a pick to gram see it <laughs> a pictogram is a picture to grammar do you understand what I'm saying here a pictogram or a pictograph it's a picture moving towards a, gra a graphene, a grammar, a gram. And even the word gram has code in it. It's like, it's a fractal hologram, and so every word tells you the whole truth. So G, let's take the word gram by itself, G-R-A-M. G is Golgotha 7, it is finished. Ram is the ram caught in the thicket in Genesis. So a pictogram points back to the ram caught in the thicket. And a pick, we're made in God's image, right? Pick is picture, right? And the picture has the word, the letter C in it, which is agape. And pi is the whole pi. So the whole pi in a pictogram is the ram caught in the thicket with G, Golgotha, it's finished. Pi, P is the seed, and you got A in front of that, which is the blood. The blood, the ram, seven is the cross. I mean, G is seven is the cross. The blood of his cross right there in the first two words. And actually, it's encoded in the first word, the first letter. If you look at the letter A, right there's the whole Bible truth right here. Ram, caught in the thicket, G, Golgotha, pick, picture. It's a, it's a movie, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an image, but it's, it's animated by the Spirit. A, look at the letter A, look at it. There's the whole truth right there in the letter A. Pointing up, it's the blood. If you take the top part off of the letter A, it looks like a... a, a a mound where they did blood sacrifices in the Old Testament. They call them altar. It looks like an altar. And then you see the cornerstone. Jesus is the cornerstone. The head of the, the cornerstone. So the letter A has the altar, has the blood sacrifice, has the head of the cornerstone right there in the letter A. It's encoded in the everything. So you see the altar, the head, the cornerstone, the chief cornerstone, which is Jesus. You see the blood sacrifice. You see that Jesus is the image of the Godhead bodily. Pick. He went through the cross. The lamb slain before the, the ram. And he said it is finished. Right there. It's right there. There it is. It's impossible not to see it. I just showed it so clearly. Break it into parts. Gram. The word. Grammar. It's written. It is written. Pick. Jesus is the image of the Godhead bodily. I see. Having to do with P. P is the Pa. The Father. The seed of the word. The letter A is the, the altar. The blood sacrifice. And you see the cornerstone. And you see the ram. Or the, the lamb, the male lamb. So Jesus, who's the image of the Godhead bodily, came down here. The seed of the word came down here, walked it out, went to the cross, 
T-O is two, sounds like two. Two, why does it sound like the number two and two? Because there's only, God wants you to be tied back in through Christ. He went through the cross, G, Golgotha, and became your, uh, in, in your stead, a sacrifice for you. Right there it is. And it brought, and what did that do? It brought you to the AM, the morning. It brought you to the morning AM from a Ma creature to a MAE creature or AM. You got born again and you can see the light now. You're no longer in darkness. There it is. So this will be, this. I'll do a series on this, showing you the code hidden in plain view. Look at the word writing. See the word writ? It's written. Writ. It's stained. Look at the word writ. R-I-T. It's written. It's stained everywhere. Look at the letter W. You have a body double down here. You're walking in that, but you're seated in the heavenly. NG. Everything's NG. The, the good thing about this is anytime you have a suffix, notice the word NG. See that? NG. The suffix is a word forming element, just like the prefix. But it's the suffix is telling you your state after you go through the cross. It's pretty deep. I don't know why they won't recognize I don't know why they won't recognize my ability to see the code it's, it's right here so notice the Phoenician script was right to left and notice the Asians they go from right to left and on in the west we go from left to right because it's pointing to Israel right and it's also pointing to the cross Aramaic alphabet, Ram, Alpha, Bet is your house. Extraterrestrial house, because Alf was an ET, right? In the cartoon or movie or what TV show or whatever it was. So you go down here, and I'm just going to show you one letter. I'm not going to even go into detail right now. Because so there's the letter A, right? There's the letter A. And there's the B, right? Ox. Head of a cattle. Head of cattle. Who's the head? Jesus is the head of the sheep. There's the air of hair, hair. I don't even have to say that. Aeroglyph or... You know what I'm talking about. The aeroglyphs of Egypt. Look at the proto sin a i tick. The proto sin. There's the letter a i. The the a i program. <laughs> Samaritan. There's the a m a, ma, mar, sam, writ. There's the writ again. There's the ram again. There's the ram. There's the letter A. There's the, there's the. Uh, what, the hell, what do I call it? It's the, the, the place where they do the sacrifices. The uh, altar. He brews you. <coughs> Syriac, Asa. Syriac, Arab, Arabic. There's rabbi in there encoded. <clears throat> Tells you the whole thing is it's, it's just totally wild. So there's the letter A. See that? So the letter A goes back to the head, the ox, the bullock, which goes back to the blood. There's B, which is house. There's the letter G. And also C, I think. Yeah, C and G unfold from the same shape. And as you unfold this, 
and you compare it. See the word tau is the cross. See the letter T is the tau. T-A-W-T-A-U. Two cross. Look at that. Take up your cross and follow after Christ who went to the cross. Tau. Watch this. T-A-W, T-A-V, T-A-F. I don't know about that one. I haven't thought about that one. Look at that. If you look at this symbol right here, this Hebrew symbol, and you look at the video, there's a video where the lyrics are, I have many, the roads are winding. I have many things to tell you, but the roads are winding. It's so deep that it's, you would have to be seriously focused to see it. The roads are winding. I have so much to tell you, but the roads are winding. What's the name of that video? And they mock that. That song is a good song, and they mock it. Here, I, I don't want to play it, but I, here's how you can find that song. Let's see if I can find it like that. Let me do this. Google. Wonderwall, that's it. So if you type in Wonderwall. Check this out. So if you watch this video, I showed you the towel, the Hebrew towel. And when they're sitting there, they're sitting there with their legs crossed. And they spell out the name Yahweh in the video with their, with their legs, the way they're sitting. So the name Yahweh is spelled out in the video. It says, it says today's going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. But now you should have you should have somehow realized what you got to do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you. The backbeat, the word on the street, that the fire in your heart is out. I'm sure that you've heard it all before, but you never had a doubt. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you. And all the roads are we have to walk are winding. And all the lights that lead us are blinding. There are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how. Because maybe you're going to be the one that saves me. And after all, you're my wonder wall. All the roads are winding and all the lights are blinding. See, this is why... You have to go to God directly and cut off the noise of YouTube because let's see if there's some images of these guys sitting there. You can see the word Yahweh, the way they're sitting. Let's just type in Wonder Wall. I'll show you. There it is right there. That might be the that might that might not be the image, but let's see. Even the way he's using that speaker right there. Let's see if the image, the way they're sitting, there it is. Oops, there it is. See the way they're sitting, their legs? They're spelling out the word Yahweh. I'm not even joking. Look it up. Look at that. Look at that right there. They're spelling the Jewish word Yahweh with their legs. And that's why the Mike Flowers mocks them. Because he knows. Right there it is. Right there. The, the, uh, the little microphone symbol, it looks like the shape of a, uh, a letter in the Hebrew. It's right here, people. <laughs> it's right here. It's right in front of us. The reason that you can see Jesus and everything in front of you, no matter what, the reason is, is because everything derives from Jesus. Think about that. 